Welcome to Martin's Institute of Teaching. So here we're going to be solving for w. Here we have the natural log of w prime is equal to the natural log of x minus 2 times the natural log of sine of x squared. So we have to do a few steps in order to solve this, so let's just jump right into this guy. So the first thing we need to do in order to solve this is uh, we want to use this. We want to rewrite this side of the equation in order to be able to get rid of the natural log so we can integrate. So one easy step we could use is uh, we have this property of natural logs where you have, let's say you have ln of y, and that's minus ln of, um, let's, say, let's call this uh, t. So if you have this right here, you could rewrite that as saying the natural log of y over t. And that's actually what we want to do to simplify this right side in order for us to be able to solve it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. So, but before we can do that, we need to do this. Uh, you know, I need more space. Mm. So let me rewrite this so I can have a look at it. So the natural log of w prime is equal to the natural log of x minus uh, 2 natural log of sine x squared. So now let me scroll down so I can have space to write. So uh, let's rewrite this, this part of the equation right here. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say ln of x minus ln of sine now, when we shift this in here, we're actually going to be squaring this whole this whole uh, sine x squared. So you're going to get sine squared of x squared. And now we can rewrite it the way we want it. So let's put the ln of w prime. Let's do that again. So the natural log of w prime is equal to the natural log of x. Uh, I'm running out of space. Okay, the natural log of x over sine squared of x squared. Now you're looking at this and you're just like, yeah, that doesn't seem like it's much better, right? Well, one thing we know about uh, sine of x, so if you have 1 over sine of, of theta, you know that that is actually the same thing as saying cosecant of theta. And so that's, this is actually what we're going to do, is we're going to rewrite this. Uh, but you know, before we do that, why don't we do ourselves a favor and let's get rid of that natural log. Because at this point, we could actually get rid of it. So let's do that first. So in order to get rid of this natural log, we're just going to raise everything to the E. And when you do that, it cancels out the natural log. And you're just going to be left with W prime. And then it's just going to be X over sine squared x squared and at this point is when you can swap out the the sine squared but uh, here I know you're looking at this and you're just saying well that's not sine squared but you can also do this you can say cosecant of theta squared is equal to 1 over sine squared of theta so we can go ahead and rewrite this and we're gonna say w prime is equal to x times, oops, no, that's not what I want, uh, of cosecant squared of, aha, uh -huh. it's of x, not theta, whoops. Okay, so at this point, now you're looking at this, and now we can actually integrate this in order to solve for it, but here we want to go ahead, I'm going to rewrite this w prime, that's just the shorthand version of it. What you're actually looking at is uh, dw over dx, which would be equal to x times cosecant squared of x squared. Oh, I lost a square on this guy along the way somewhere, but oh, we don't lose it. So, okay. So at this point, now I'm going to go ahead and use this as a separable equation. I'm going to shift the dx over to the right hand side, and we're going to get the integral. Because at this point, we want to solve for w, not w prime, which is or the derivative. 
So we're going to get dw is equal to the integral of x times cosecant squared of x squared dx. So now at this point, so at this point, now the integral of, well, this is actually a constant, there would be a 1 here. So the integral of this is just going to be w. So now we're at w, but here we have we have something where you'd have to use integration by parts, or better yet, we could use u substitution, which would make this much easier. So we're actually going to do um, u substitution in order to do that. So I'm just going to get rid of this real quick. So I'm going to say u is equal to x squared, and du is equal to 2x dx, and then I'm going to move this 2 over to this side, so we're going to have one half du is equal to x dx. Now we have the x and the dx, which is going to replace that x and that dx. So let's go ahead and put this into and to swap out all of this. So we're going to get the integral. Uh, we're going to get cosine or cosecant squared. So that's going to say the same. Cosecant squared of u because u is equal to x squared. So we're going to get a u here. Uh, and then we're going to swap in one half du, so the one half will go here times du, because that's x times dx, which is that x and that dx. So now at this point we can go ahead and integrate. Now, uh, in order to integrate uh, cosecant squared, you need to know what it is, uh, and that's just you can look at the back of your calculus book, and that'll tell you. So that would be let's see. So cosecant squared of theta is actually equal to negative cotangent of theta plus c. So if you integrate this, you'd get this. Um, oh yeah, so let's go ahead and finish this problem. So w is equal to Oh, don't forget the one-half, so you're going to get one-half, negative one-half, cotangent, and remember, uh, in this one we have u here, and u here is actually just x squared from right there. So that's, oops, x squared plus c. Uh, yeah, so that's x squared, x squared goes in there. Yeah, so there you go. This, the natural log of w prime, which is equal to the natural log of x minus 2 times the natural log of sine of x squared, if you integrate all this, you're going to end up with this solution right here. So, uh, yeah, uh, I, I hope this made sense something good to remember is some of those those logarithmic laws so this law definitely comes in very handy the ln of y minus ln of x which is just the same thing as saying whoops uh, ln of y over x that one's in, that's you needed to know that in order to solve this problem and you also needed to know the the integral of cosecant squared of theta, which is just negative cotangent of theta plus c. Uh, is there anything else you needed to know? Um, yeah, well, you also could have, this one came in handy, sine of theta, which is just equal to cosecant theta. So, yeah, I um, hope that made sense. Hope it helped you out. Uh, so, there you go. That is how you would solve this problem. The it, solving for w prime will give you w is equal to negative one half of cotangent of x squared plus c. Okay, so that's how you solve for w. Uh, I hope this problem helped you out, and uh, good luck in your guys' classes.